Now my design is finished for the base, I'm going to go ahead and transfer this shape onto the other side of my container. I'll rotate the part, create a new sketch where my lid is going to be, and then what I would like to do is project geometry of just the outside of my shape. Project geometry, and I will extrude that for the entire height of my lid. For this example, our lid is going to be 5 eighths of an inch tall. Cut 0.625. That's created the outside boundary of my lid. The only thing I have remaining is to create the pocket for the lid. I'll create an additional sketch, rotate the part, and project only the outside lip. Now that I have that path, I want to go ahead and develop my final extrusion for the pocket. I'd like to put a tolerance between my base and my lid. And to be able to do that, I'm going to offset the profile that is projected from one side out. I'd also like Inventor to no longer be able to see this inside loop. I don't want to delete it so I can maintain my offset relationship. So I'm going to pick any line, any of the yellow lines that make up that profile and turn them into a construction line. That will break that loop so Inventor can no longer see that as a choosable object when I go for extrude. I'm right now going to do a tolerance in between the projected geometry and my offset geometry of three thousandths of an inch. That three thousandths of an inch will allow me to have a tolerance that's going to work for the machines that I have. One of the last things I want to do is check this pocket one last time to make sure that my tool is capable of going in each one of those pockets. Because I developed my design from the inside out with the 3 eighths of an inch, every one of my arcs should have gotten larger, which should make it very easy for my 3 eighths of an inch tool to be able to go into each one of those areas. Just make sure you go around and make sure that your tool is not going to have any trouble going into there. If it is, or you have any square corners, you're going to have a hard time trying to get your lid and your container to fit together. I will finish sketch, and I'll extrude that pocket. Since I made that a construction line, Inventor can no longer see that pocket. I do not have two choices that I must select. I'll cut. I know right now that the lip on my other side is a quarter of an inch tall, and I'd like to add an additional sixteenth of an inch so that my lid does not bottom out when it's put onto the base. You can now see a finished container. I have the base of the container on one side of my boss. I have the lid on the other side of the boss. I can now take this into my cam software and develop the tooling strategies to create this part.